Thank you for coming to listening to our presentation. We, Wedge Holdings, most important subsidiary group lease, which is the leasing company in Thailand, was expanded the business to Cambodia. But now, I myself want to explain to the market about this new business and new market. Last week, I was in Cambodia, maybe almost 70% of the people emerging Cambodia is one of the poorest countries in the world. But now, actually, it's not such a country. Cambodia is one of the hottest, I mean, in the meaning of economy most hottest economy in the world now. <clears throat> if you go to the Phnom Penh, which is the capital of Cambodia, you can see so many motorcycles, so many cars. Now, all, almost all over the day, traffic jam everywhere. So it's very hot market. Mr. Steve Jobs talking about iPad first time, he said between iPhone and the Mac, there is something very unique and something better than them. It was iPad. I followed him to do this presentation in Cambodia or in Southeast Asia. There's people walking on the road and the car will go on the road. Between that, in Southeast Asia, there is motorcycle. People can go faster, especially truck jam maybe faster than the cars. People will bring the things by their foot, by their hand, even by their head. And there was big trucks. Between that, there is motorcycle in Southeast Asia. People will bring the people by the cows or horses and buses. Between that, there's motorcycle also. People will sell something on the road and there's a big department store. And then, between that, there is motorcycle. So, in Cambodia, what, what is motorcycle. <coughs> he is our first customer in Cambodia who bought motorcycle and using our leasing facility. For them, motorcycle is infrastructure of grassroots economies. You can see in Southeast Asia before all over the world, in modern countries, there was a big bank which grew up the heavy industries. But now, after 1990s, especially in 21st century, the world was changed. Now, the microfinance breeding the grassroots economy. This is the war. This is what happened in the hottest country in the world. So, for us, you can see the motorcycle. If there is motorcycle, five motorcycles come in one place, then there is a market. This is Southeast Asia. On the low side, 
there is a small small shop like this you can buy many things shampoos or drinks or maybe some snacks this kind of shops also need motorcycle so for the grassroots economy in Asia you need motorcycle and you, motorcycle sustain the economy itself people like also on the motorcycle so now <coughs> if you see the our business cycle there's motorcycle demand someone to, someone want to go to their workplace someone want to sell something on the road they need motorcycle there's motorcycle demand then we group this for GR Finance in Cambodia will give the credit to them then people can buy it because the people who want to get the motorcycle today not everybody can buy a motorcycle by cash they need to wait three maybe five years sometimes ten years but if they get the credit they can buy a motorcycle today this is what we can do and then people could buy the motorcycle more people can buy the motorcycle then better life and better business with motorcycle we're gonna increase at this stage people demand for motorcycle will be expanded again then we can provide more credit to them. This is our development of the grassroots economies cycle. This is our business model. Business of model or finance business is simply like this. We leasing company and the customer who will buy the motorcycle and then motorcycle big dealers who is selling the motorcycle. Then people will go to the motorcycle dealer. The motorcycle dealer will say, Oh, if you want to buy the motorcycle using leasing, you can go to the jail. Then they will send the paper to the jail. Then we will give this to them. This is our business. And all of ASEAN country which is now quite hot because of 2015 there will be AEC which is a big economic uh, area will be one area and then in ASEAN there's many countries now our hometown is Thailand which has population about 69 million and then now we expand our business to Cambodia, which has the population 14 million. Then other countries like Laos, 6.2 million people, and Myanmar, 47.9 million people, and then Vietnam have 87.8 million, Indonesia have 239 million people it's a big market and then you can see these countries as okay thailand vietnam and indonesia is a big company country big population and big market but also many competitors and now there's smaller countries like cambodia laos myanmar these countries are really a virgin island maybe larger smaller market but also a growing market and also less competitive market so we have two kind of countries and anyway it's a big kind, big market for motorcycle and leasing of motorcycle then so why we started our business in Cambodia I want to explain to you the reason 
was uh, the reason is three reasons. There, there's three reasons. The first reason is market on the board. It's very hard. First and only leasing company we are. Then geomizen we have. Firstly, market on the oil. What does it mean? The country, Cambodia, is growing so fast, especially in these 10 years. Actually, until 1992, there was a war in the country. After that, started expand the economy, but actually, it was first 10 years was not so good because of less infra infrastructure, the people still are dying because of the bad situation. But actually in these 10 years, the economy is growing so fast. Now IMF expect Cambodia will grow up averagely 7.5% in a year in these 20 years. And then Asian Development Bank expect 8.2% and Cambodian government is trying to make the target on 8.5% per annual average. So it's one of the hottest market. It's growing so fast. And then the demographic dividend wise, you can see the Cambodian 2010, it's a very clearly a young country and it's a beautiful pyramid also you can see japan 90s, 1950 was like this and cambodia also is like this then japan economy grown because of the demographic dividend until 1990s it is 40 years it was 40 years and then Cambodia, even we see more 30 years, but still not all like Japan. So you can think Cambodia's demographic dividend will be long until 2060 actually. So we have more 50 years of the advantage in the point of view of demographic dividend. Then Kim. Uh, geopolitical potential Cambodia has which is in South Asia there's four important economic place one is India everybody know and one is China and north of Vietnam and then there's Malacca uh, Malacca economy belt which is like Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. And in the center of this whole economy, there is a sub, uh, Mekong Delta economy belt. You can see India, and South China, and North Vietnam, and Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore. In this three economy, important price, you can see Bangkok, Phnom Penh, and Ho Chi Minh. This is Mekong Delta Economy Belt. In Mekong Delta Economy Belt, Bangkok, population is 8 million, and Phnom Penh, population is 1.3 million, and Ho Chi Minh, population is 6.25 million. So three economical capital is in one line just only 750 kilometers, which is very special place, even in Asia. Okay, so this place is a junction of the Asian economy. So you can see Phnom Penh or Cambodia or Mekong Delta Economy Belt has some special priority in Asian economy development. Expansion in Cambodia, uh, the second reason is first and only leasing company. 
we just started this business in Cambodia. We got the first finance leasing license in Cambodia in the Cambodian history, which was October last year. On the day when we got the license and then we opened up our business to the market in Cambodia, and then the Cambodian Minister of Commerce came to make speech for us. <coughs> so this was a great step for Cambodian economy and for our business also. Anyway, Geo Finance is the first leasing company in Cambodia. And secondly, actually the motorcycle market in Cambodia. This is one market in Cambodia. Even in any market, you can see many, many motorcycles. And then you can find maybe only Honda. You can see many motorcycles here. In this motorcycles, I can point out this is Honda, Honda, Honda. And this one also Honda, this one also Honda. Almost all Honda. Just only this red one is not Honda. So actually, in Cambodia, 95% of motorcycle, the share governed by Honda only. So almost we can think motorcycle market in Cambodia is monopolized by Honda. And now we, Geo Finance, has exclusivity agreement with Honda and seven years also. So means we have exclusive contract with the monopolized company. So in the point of view of motorcycle war in Cambodia, we are monopoly. So we are fast leasing finance company and we are only one leasing company also in Cambodia which is our priority also and the last one is GL Mesop. GL Mesop, GL is our subsidiary in Thailand which is the mother company of GL Finance in Cambodia. GL has 30 years history in Thailand to do this business so we have know-how and we have many methods. So GL method makes us a high profitable a high profitable business which has higher revenue and lower cost and high profit level last year our ROE was 24% which is a great uh, figure I think and this one depend on the higher interest rate because we are microfinance. This is the first one. And the second thing is we have low cost. Why we can make the low cost? Because the cost wise in this finance business, the most important thing is NPL. And actually we are we finance to motorcycle. And the motorcycle in Southeast Asia, if we buy a new motorcycle, one year later, you sell this one as a second hand. How much you get? Almost 70% you can get. So means this collateral for leasing, I mean motorcycle, has a high value. One year, 70%. Our contract base is normally actually averagely 34 months only and one year later still you get 70% of the finance so the value wise the collateral value is very high the second thing actually when someone default we get the motorcycle back to our company and then we sell it by ourselves by our auction. 
we have this know-how and when we get the motorcycle back not more than one week the motorcycle will be sold out so very high liquidity and the last one is if we think about motorcycle even in Thailand even in Cambodia or even in any country in Southeast Asia there's this registration because with registration motorcycle everybody know who is the owner of this motorcycle and we leasing company is the owner and government will say hey this is yours so quite easy to find out who is the owner so at last if we compare with some other finance like if we finance to the like refrigerator or TV or finance to the house okay how if you finance to the refrigerator one year later your customer default or you want to get the refrigerator back can you do that even you go to his house you cannot know this actually this refrigerator owned by who who is the owner it's quite hard because there's no registration and actually one year later the used refrigerator how much you can sell is it easy that's a problem and the next time next one if we think about the house okay housing loan if we keep the finance to someone and this guy therefore you want to get the house back it's not easy you cannot move the house you cannot move the land so you need to sell on that price when you can sell normally if you sell the collateral land house takes months sometimes years so the liquidity is very low you don't know how much you can sell and actually this asset sometimes the price sharply down so fast like United States four years ago right so if we compare to other collaterals or maybe finance motorcycle finance has such a better uh, better point and we have know-how how to deal with motorcycle finance and this kind of finance how to keep finance how to register how to take the motorcycle back how to sell the motorcycle and whole back office whole front office so this is geo method I told you like this okay how to sell we do our auction by ourselves every every week so lots of motorcycle actually we need to take back but we sell in one week Geo method with customers, we have two kind of customers. One kind is the motorcycle buyers who is normal customer. We will keep finance to them. So we need to satisfy this, uh, this motorcycle buyers. And then motorcycle dealers. Motorcycle dealers is not directly our customer, but they are the person who recommend us to the customer. So they are second customer. So we need to satisfy both of them. So this is one of the things. So the point of view of dealers, they have many demands, many kind of things they need support from the finance company. And then we know we can do. So this is one of the share method. So utilize our group lease method and using Singaporeans finance uh, method we support geo finance in Cambodia and we will expand our business to 
maybe other countries like Laos, Myanmar, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Meso will come from one place. I mean, Thailand, Group S PCL. And Group S Holdings, Singapore, will give the finance, financial facility to all the branches in all over ASEAN countries, which is for us our picture to win in this area. And then, so the Cambodian business of us is three point okay, emerging market and person only com uh, company and geo method. Actually, we are in the market on the bottom and then person only company and GL method. So these three makes GLF which is subsidiary of our uh, group of companies have much more share in the market and much more profitability in the market we believe. Business development in Cambodia. Now we already started the business around half of year. Then uh, last year we started our business 2012 and then uh, begin consolidation in this third quarter of 2013 uh, which is the beginning of our business. And then sales start, uh, sales wise we already expand our business in Phnom Penh which is the capital of Cambodia and 45% market of Cambodia also. So our branch wise, we already cover all of 45% market of Cambodia. And then this year, we already uh, finished the test cases, which is uh, about how to finance in Cambodia how to evaluate customer, how to deliver the motorcycle, how to register, all these kind of things. We already finished. So we are now ready to expand our business. This year, we expand all over Cambodia. So now our branch network covers 45% of the market, but this year will cover 100%. Future goals actually, we think 2015s we expand our relation uh, same size as Group this which is in Thailand. Group this last year in 2012, the asset base was. 114 million US dollars and made 11.74 million US dollars, which ROA was 15%, ROE was 24%. So we think Cambodians' business, at least uh, our asset base, will be same size as 2012 of Thailand in 2015 and we think the profitability wise Cambodian market will be much more profitable than Thailand because we are fast and only leasing company and the market is on the bottom we have more better geo method. So we believe that Cambodian business will be much more profitable. Size 2015 will reach to the Thailand last year. This is our target. So at last in Cambodia, the motorcycle used for many, many things like what I said. You can see this 
these pictures in our in this presentation I took by myself. You can see so many motorcycles, so many kind usage. We will support to expand this motorcycle market and then let the people's life richer and easier and more convenient than before. This is our target also. Okay, last, they are our group list, uh, GL Finance staffs in headquarters. I want to say, I would like to say thank you to everybody who listened to the end with our staff in Cambodia. Thank you very much.